So the model pre-production um, 85 Sky Raider, so the side-by-side -side, um, seating. They used to carry troops and things in here, which is pretty neat. These are for all kinds of stuff, but uh, yeah, this will be made in flight. There are only three of these in existence at the moment, this particular model. Uh, the other two are in Texas, so this will, uh, I think, be the first one to fly. Now the cool thing is with the outer wing panels coming off, the landing gear stay attached to the fuselage. So uh, transportation, if you got a van, it's great. You should be able to see it. Light up the sky like a Christmas tree. Like fluorescent. <laughs> Sweet. These guys are ready, I can tell. So serious. <laughs> Flying prop 20 by 14 Vila propeller. Uh, works great on my bubble top. So I got this exact same setup in here. Scorpion 5535 motor, 160 kV, uh, 12 cells, and uh, yeah, I'm anxious to see what it does. You know, the fuselage, it's taller, it's wider. They call these the fat face. It'll be interesting to see. It's the exact same wing design. The tails are the same size. The dorsal is larger and taller. I think on the full scale, they increased the vertical tail size like by 50%, which is really significant. So these are the Legend Hobby payload release. They're all 3D printed. They kind of remind me of the old Vortac bomb releases, but they're a little bit bigger because uh, they got a similar kind of hook set up here, but uh, they're spring releasable. So you can drop them on and off. You just pop these on super easily. And uh, that's more or less it. I got them tied to a switch, but I don't plan to drop them. That's what these guys are for. I, I have the center, the center pylon rigged up too. So once we get the maiden out of the way, we'll do a clean and then we'll put the tanks on. I expect that I'll probably need a little bit more up elevator for trim. That's fairly typical with tanks. And then we'll have the bomb too and drop, drop the bomb. Yeah. All right, hey everyone, uh, it is time. Maiden flight on the 85 Sky Raider came out a couple weeks ago, got blown out. The winds were, were a bit much. So let's go give it a shot. All times that's good. Got to make sure we got Larry and Fred going here. Based on what I remember from the other one, high rate ailerons are going to go mid rate elevator to start. See how it feels. I can go up if I need more or down if I need less. Flaps are good. All right, let's do it. Touch of right. Uh, 
elevator feels Pictures of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Drop gear, drop flaps. I get to log all of them, right? Yeah. <laughs> One takeoff and five landings. Sweetheart flies just like the bubble top. I was a little hot on the landing, so I'll deal with that. It didn't actually slow down as much as I expected because the bubble top gets pretty draggy, but I also have a whole bunch of stuff hanging off of it, so this felt cleaner on the landing. Uh, but man, I dig it, it's really cool. Uh, the look <laughs> in flight is awesome, shows up beautifully. Uh, so I'm looking forward, let's get some more flying in, and uh, we'll. Put the tanks on and, and see how that does too. I want to get another flight in the clean configuration that will load her up and and uh, yeah, I dig it. Ended up low rates, elevator, mid rate on the aileron and actually I'm going to bump up the expo on the aileron just a touch and I think it'll be perfect. So CG felt good, happy, I dig it. All right, just got the battery, I wanted to check how much we use? Timer set at four and a half minutes. And the voltage is about 3.8, 3, 3.81, 3, 3.78. It's kind of the range, 3.77, so it's about perfect. Yeah, 26% shows. So, yeah, perfect. And actually, I was up in the air longer than that, than four and a half, because my timer went off. And then I set up the landing, so it's maybe about five minutes. It's good. Flight two, here we go. Timer start. 
in full throttle. It's close, but that is. Drop the gear and flaps. No, I didn't. Hey, you, you know, I, I, I'm Amazon is my friend. Yeah. So. That was, then it got it too slow. Nobody saw. <laughs> oh, well, except the camera Everybody guy. saw. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got it a little too slow that time. I was trying to slow it down, so still feeling it out. But the gear handled it like a champ. I ended up chopping the springs, which really softened the gear, so that helped out a lot. Otherwise, it would have really sprung back up. So, I think it's time to put the tanks on. I want to see what it's going to do. I'm going to add some up trim because I fully expect the tanks are going to require some up elevator for trim. Uh, and then we'll put the bomb on. And uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. So, this is from the bubble top. I designed these flexible material, they break apart. So, I figured uh, while we're at it, we might as well drop a bomb. Yeah, perfect, V835. <laughs> In case you weren't sure, they want to make sure you know. All right, that's in there, nice and tight. You got the sway braces there. All right, I do actually have them set up to drop. I'm not gonna drop them. I don't plan to drop them ever, but just in case I have to emergency jettison or something. Yeah, you actually did a 
on the right wing. No. Can you back up a little bit? That's landing in. I'll take that one. Yes, sir. Airplane didn't really know the difference with the tanks. Six clicks up trim was about right. It maybe ended up seven or eight. The airplane flies amazing. And honestly, with the bubble top, when I put everything on it, I noticed it didn't really change the performance much at all. It's kind of the same thing here with the tanks on. It really doesn't know the difference. And this was all because of Legend Hobby. Be sure to check them out, guys. Um, they make some really great stuff. And this is their own branded model. They've got a lot of new stuff coming. Uh, and I'm excited to see where they're going to go. I've got a link to the model down in the description um, and all of the stuff that I've used in there. And, and I'll have a full flight review coming uh, in the future. So be on the lookout for that. All right, that's it for this video. See you next time. The ultimate bomb. <laughs> well, I guess you drop bombs. That's in the, the bomb basket. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like the blanket. Mm -hmm. It, it kind of matches, yeah. It matches my outfit. All right, I got my bomb here. This is actually from my bump. Oh, uh -oh. dang it! <laughs>